Greetings to you all. My name is Cindy, Cindy Kobe from Kenya, and I'm from the Ogio community of the Mau Forest. And today I'll be speaking about how protecting tropical forests and biodiversity can prevent coronaviruses and other emerging zoonotic diseases. Um, tropical forests have been destroyed, have been destroyed at extremely alarming rates. And uh, in 2020 alone, there's been fires in California, fires in Australia, fires in Congo forest, and fires in the Amazon, which is the largest tropical forest in the world. Uh, tropical forests are home to a lot of species, a lot of animals, a lot of uh, communities as well, indigenous communities involved. And uh, the Ogier community, the community that where I'm from, is an example of where of um, communities that live in the forest. And... COVID-19 has, has laid bare that there is a broken relationship with nature. We have lost our connection with nature. We are no longer living the olden ways. We are now in the western side where, where we cut trees, we destroy, we kill animals, and we destroy our biodiversity, which is, which is, which is of great benefit to us. Um, an example, example of viruses that have emerged as a result of uh, biodiversity loss and uh, the cutting down of trees are... SARS, we have the Ebola virus and many other viruses, and they all emerged as a result of um, biodiversity. Biodiversity is everything, is animals, it's plants, it's trees, it's it's everything. And um, an example of what happened in the in the Ogier community in the old in the ten years, twenty years ago, a long, long time ago, I don't know the exact time, is that um, Ogier community are hunter and gatherers. They hunt for food and uh, one day, hunters, they went deep inside the forest and they killed animals that are not supposed to be killed. This led, uh, later led to death and, uh, and, uh, and the community was almost extinct because they ate meat that were not, was not supposed to be eaten. And uh, this is, uh, this is what, what is happening in, in the world right now because of wildlife trade. And the wildlife... These are some of the causes of the breakage of this bond. And uh, an example is wildlife trade. We're now trading wildlife. We're not we're not protecting them like we used to in the olden age. And uh, also human encroachment. This is due to the building of roads, the building of um, hospitals in places in forested areas, and also deforestation. These are some of the biggest the biggest causes of the breakage of this bond. And what do we need to do to reconnect to, to reconnect this bond with nature? We need to go back to the olden days. We need to live traditionally but in a in a proper traditional way and uh, we also need to stop deforestation and plant more trees when we plant more trees we, we create a home for this wildlife that we're trading and uh, we, we also create a home uh, a home for the animals and the species we also need to conserve biodiversity we need to protect them we need to ensure that uh, we do there's no biodiversity loss and we also need to ensure that in the future uh, our our children, our children's children will not be able to look at biodiversity and just look at it from the museum side of it, but to also witness it for themselves. Uh, there also need to be a regulation of wildlife trade. And I don't think uh, that there should be any wildlife trade uh, whatsoever because uh, when we trade bats, we trade uh, ostriches, we trade uh, uh, crabs or... Uh, all, 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 all animals, it's a harm. We are harming the planet. We are harming Mother Nature. And uh, COVID-19 pandemic uh, and, the, and the future pandemics, which we hope won't be there, uh, can be, are, are, clo are all closely tied to tropical forest deforestation. We don't, we don't need to cut trees because trees are everything. Trees are life. They bring water. They bring food. Uh, they absorb carbon dioxide and all that. Uh, the pandemic is a warning sign that we need to go back. We need to protect our planet. We need to ensure that we, we are preventing the coronaviruses and other emerging zoonotic diseases. And um, thank you so much, YD, for having me. And um, that we all. Thank you.